This week we're at a wheat beer brewery called Schneider Weisser, and this is the fourth line analysis job we've done for them. The client concerned has a maintenance agreement with us, and the analyses are carried out at regular intervals. We begin our work by setting up our measuring instruments. We install photo cells, connect up the sensors, and then we get to work. And this means looking at the line from the client's point of view, listing all the defects, recording the production data of the reference machine, noting down the machine speeds, the buffering times, the operating hours, and the make-ready times. But why is a line analysis job necessary in the first place? There will be different reasons for a client to order a line analysis job. Budget planning, for instance, or obtaining an outside opinion. All the structures in the line have been changed, such as operating staff, containers, packs, machines being replaced, all the way through to an entirely new control concept for the line. We offer line analyses not only for complete Krohn's lines, but also for lines from other vendors or mixed ones. That doesn't change the way we approach the job, though. That's because we always look at the line from the client's point of view. As certified experts, we uncover all the defects involved. Accurate, individualized data acquisition is important for the overall result later on. This is why the maximum speeds of every single machine are verified with a stopwatch and appropriately calculated, as exemplified here by the packer. We have to halt the machine briefly before taking the measurements. This ensures that sufficient bottles and empty crates are available. Then we switch the machine on again and check the subsequent strokes with a stopwatch. And from these data we calculate the machine's precise speed. Und anhand der Kisten und der Flaschen in den Kisten mit der Zeit können wir dann exakt die Maschinengeschwindigkeit berechnen. When we're doing a line analysis job, we also use a thermal imaging camera. We examine various components in the line, plus the control cabinets. We focus here on irregularities involving excessively high temperature or loose terminal connections. We also check to see whether motors are running out of true. All this can be gently and non-destructively tested using a thermal imaging camera. We've been able to detect terminal defects or open terminals at various clients, thus preventing any more serious damage. Besides thermal imaging, the program also includes energy and media measurements. In preceding analyses at this client, the high proportion of sorting required and the inadequate size of the sorting section were noticed. Proposals for a solution were drawn up and implemented, and produced a significant improvement. The line is now definitely being supplied for longer and more effectively. The staff at the sorting section have more time to sort the crates. Everything has been human engineered to optimum effect. After finishing the on-site work, the second part of the job is completed in the office. Here the data collected are evaluated and then succinctly summarized in a report. Internally, we get in touch with the specialist department concerned and our colleagues in sales. This means our ideas and suggestions for improvement can be translated into engineered reality almost immediately. The declared aim of a line analysis job is to raise the overall equipment effectiveness of the line concerned. So far, increases of between 2 and 10 percent have been achieved depending on the particular line involved. Finally, all results are handed over to the client in both printed and digital form.